What's up folks? We're at Kalang today and uh, I'm testing out a new reel. Uh, it's the it's a supposedly a budget BFS reel. It's called the POTM by C Knight. It's the first time I've uh, got it out, it's a sixty dollar reel. It looked kind of promising uh, on AliExpress coming in from the wake of uh, the Surinoya XF50 uh, which I have with me today by the way uh, you know I just figured see what other options there are um, out from the China market in terms of budget reels and I found this guy so uh, yeah let me just get set up here and um, catch you guys on the water Oh, that was in the... Mm. I think i got to set up the reel properly. Alright, let's try that again. Mm. Reel feels a... The spool feels a little bit sticky. It feels really sluggish and slow for some reason. Yeah, oh, um, well, that's not a good start. Fifteen minutes later. Yeah, I don't think this is working, guys. I can't seem to figure out this reel. You see, the issue with this reel that I'm facing right now is it seems like the only castable setting. Um, requires me to set the brakes all the way up and doing that the leo definitely pulls starts pulling down it starts pulling to the left i can't seem to get a setting that um is castable you know the best way i can describe it is the, the spool just feels sluggish but free spool is fine you know i tested the free spool out of the box it's fine but for some reason this reel just doesn't cast well yep I'm done. I'm done with this reel. No more. This reel is a piece of junk. So you see guys, not all China reels are actually um, serviceable. I wouldn't even use this guy uh, as a regular reel because, well, frankly, it's built like a finesse reel. So it holds very little line, but, you know, it, it can't handle finesse stuff. So stay away from this one guys all right so let's just let me um i'm going to take out my uh surinoya xf50 now let me just switch up here and then uh i'll catch you back on the water oh there we go this is so much better man guys that is something about this reel this surinoya I weighed the spool, it's the exact same weight as the C9 POTM. I mean, the difference when casting light stuff is just night and day. At least for the backing minnow, which is 2.8 grams. How the hell did he strike me into the paper bag?
I have no idea. Did you guys see that? My line just kind of, my leader just snapped in two. <laughs> I picked up the rod after take after unhooking the fish and my leader, the, the line came up, the lure stayed on the ground. I don't know what the hell happened there. Maybe whilst unhooking the fish, I accidentally cut the line. Can't be just one. You know what I always say? There's always one more. It's not that they are a pair or anything, but there's always one more. They're always hanging out in small ones. Are either they are PBs are either hanging out in pairs or hanging out in groups. joking me? Look at that guy. That's one way to fish. folks so here's the plan i'm crossing the kalam legal grounds i'm gonna hop over that fence uh, walk all the way in there and probably uh, fish the high wall go fish the lagoon no i'm just kidding i'm done done for the day i uh, landed two small ones hit one that i thought was pretty big i don't know you guys probably see the footage i'm gonna confirm whether that fish was actually a fish. Fuck. No. Oh, it was, a, a, in fact, what came up was a plastic bag. So, yeah, you guys will see. Oh, you guys, I'm sorry, this is the outro. You guys probably saw already. So, yeah, I don't even know yet. I got to go back and review, review the footage. All right, all right, guys. Okay, so yeah, Mrs. BCSG was kind enough to come pick me up. So I'm walking to the car. And if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. Share my videos with your friends. And subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.